What's up everybody? This is Future Automation, a place where imagination meets reality and you are listening to Tejas. So guys, today's video is going to be fun too because we are going to learn about how to use Selenite locks, which is going to come in use in the project where we are going to use keypad as well, which was the previous video module. And we are going to create a lock, locking system with a security system. Uh, later on, uh, we'll discuss about that uh, in that coming video. For now, what we are going to do is we are going to take a look at the selenite lock. So with a cup of coffee, let's get started. So guys, in this video, what we are going to do is we are going to understand how is the working of Selenite lock, how we can use it, what kind of components we need to make sure that the Selenite lock works and the code, that's it. So before going to the code, we'll see about what are components we need. So here we have almost four components, which are the basic components that we need. One is we need uh, the, the LiPo battery, which is around about 12, 11 to 12 volts above that you need to use because the cellular lock does not work on 5 volts. Then we need a, a relay module because Arduino does not uh, work above 5 volts. So to control the heavy voltage, we need a relay module. Now, if you want to learn about relay module, you have not uh, learned anything about it. I have created a video. I'll link, I'll link the video in the top bar somewhere and in the description as well so you can go and check it out then the main component that is the cellulite lock that is something that we need and then we need the arduino the brain to run all this now before moving to the code section and all that we'll first understand how exactly is the working of the cellulite uh, lock so if you'll check out this particular gif that i have uh, you know, downloaded from internet. Uh, basically, it shows the working principle of the selenoid lock. So you can see here that there is a coil in between which there is a rod that is moving uh, in and out uh, whenever the power is supplied or the current is off. So whenever you turn on the current, an electromagnetic uh, force is generated for due to which this particular lock that is latch on the rod is pulled behind uh, you know uh, pulling the whole uh, rod section or whatever you have in, uh, added or attached to this particular rod and whenever you turn off the video that sorry my bad so whenever you turn off the current uh, there is a small spring that is attached to this lock, although it is not shown here. But if you open any cellular lock wall, uh, you will find out that there is some kind of return mechanism that is already created. Uh, sorry, that is already added. And that's how it works, basically. So it will restore its position. So this is how the lock basically works. Now, uh, moving back to the components, if you see here, let me just try to zoom the top video as well so that you can get an idea so you can see here as well if i push this particular uh, thing you can see that we are getting the uh, you know we are getting back the lock latch back to its position that is happening because uh, there is a spring here in between the coil there is a plate and then there's a spring and if you have a cellulite lock you can anytime open it it's not a big deal uh, so you can use it and you can see how exactly the internal structure is created and um, you'll get an idea on that then we have the relay module already aware about this this is something that is uh, not used prior uh, in any project so this is a lipo battery uh, which is a three cell lipo battery so it gives you an output of around 11 to 12 volts because we have three cells of 3.7 volt so uh, we can make this also and i'm going to create a video on that as well of how we can create one years two years three years uh, four years five years uh, battery systems and we are going to be needing these kind of batteries when we are going to go with projects that need a little bit higher power than what we usually need that is five volts above that so for that we are going to use this 
and yeah let's not go deep into this we are mostly interested in this so let's get into the coding part and uh, then we'll uh, do the connection as well or maybe we can do the connection first and then we'll go into the coding part so the connection is pretty simple what you have to do is uh, you have to uh, connect the battery uh, one one terminal of the battery to the relay module from which it will go to the one end of selenoid lock and then uh, you have to connect another uh, end of the battery and, and another terminal of the battery directly to the selenoid lock so uh, if you have worked with the relay module it basically is responsible for completing a circuit uh, which is uh, so yeah let's connect this uh, and make sure that if you are working with higher voltages you have to be a bit safe uh, maybe if you are you know uh, if you are not experienced uh, get an experienced person with you that would be a bit better uh, instead of you know uh, putting yourself in a uh, danger yeah <laughs> Okay, so we are done with the connection and it's pretty simple what we have done is we have uh, you can see that one of the terminal of the battery goes straight to the uh, selenoid lock here you can see that and uh, one the next connection goes to relay and from there it is going towards the uh, battery so let me just bring in the battery as well a little bit closer so that we can see everything uh, okay okay so yeah let's uh, let's go to the code now the code is pretty simple again here uh, so we have declared a, a variable which is the relay pin which is connected to nine digital pin and then in white setup we have uh, initialized the pin to output uh, that is the relay pin and serial begin to 9600 the code is somewhat similar to what we do when we are going to blink an led uh, because here also what we are doing is we are basically supplying 5 volts to complete uh, we to tell the relay that you have to complete this circuit because there's a, this is a mechanical relay and there's a switch inside which works on 5 volts so that's what basically this is and in the loop what you do is you turn on the relay and uh, Turn off the relay after every five seconds so high and low that's it if you again uh, if you are new to this relay stuff you can go ahead and check my previous video as well it's uh, not that complicated so let's uh, upload the code and see if it works hopefully it should work okay there's some kind of sound and why i'm not able to see the or do you know yeah so okay it's working so technically selenoid lock needs a bit more power um, the starting is itself uh, you know 11 to 12 volts so it's sometimes very uh, uh, you know design in, in terms of working so you need to supply a bit more power and i think it should work very well now you can see that it's working so uh, you can see here and there's some kind of okay yeah so yeah we need to supply a bit more power but yeah it works so what you have to do is uh, whenever you are working with the locking system that is a password security system or some kind of system what you can do is you can basically uh, put this towards the door at the opening side and you can uh, you know uh, lock and lock the stuff so yeah that's it and we are going to come back with few more uh, 
videos maybe one or two more for the few more uh, stuff that is remaining and then we'll go with the projects and now you can see that it's not working sometimes it happens uh, sometimes yeah so that's it guys for this video uh, if you like the video make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're new if you are already a subscriber thanks for the support uh, do share it with all the iot enthusiasts if you and non-iot enthusiasts as well a lot of people they are not subscribing to the video but they are watching so i request you to do subscribe it motivates us to you know make more videos so and thanks for the support for the previous video as well it had uh, been viewed in a really good number so thanks a lot for that if you have any kind of projects that you have done share it with me i'll be happy to you know uh, show it out in the video next time whichever is the good one and if you have any ideas put them in comment section if you have any questions add them in comment section i'll surely take a look at them and that's it guys keep innovating take care thank you